Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of Style It with Arinda. On today's episode is all about young fashion designers. And in fact, I will interview two young fashion designers who have launched their own label independently in Vancouver, even though the fashion system has been nascent for only a decade. I will give them two different tips and they will give me their personal interpretation on them. So let's go and meet the first designer, Sam Stringer. She creates a perfect style that matches with flirty silhouettes. I've always been inspired by people, whether that's a model or an actress or a woman of influence in history. People are definitely my biggest influence and my fabrics tend to reflect that. I do mostly custom work, which lends itself to a lot of different women. I find the driving members of uh, the workforce that I tend to aim at are female entrepreneurs and women whose job really never ends. The fabrics that I tend to use are luxurious fabrics like silks and brocade and anything with a sequin or elaborate detail. I'm trying to give women an artistic extension of their brands through black tie and formal gowns that fuse art and fashion. I really like to focus on collaboration with my work, so fusing art and fashion is very important to me, and being able to collaborate with local artists makes my work very unique. We'll talk together today about how to revamp the cocktail dress. So tell me a little bit more about this gorgeous dress that I'm wearing today that makes me feel so beautiful and sexy. And this is one of the first 15 pieces from my first collection, Vesuvius. This piece features micro pleated chiffon in a very light blush color and with a silk lining, with a little bit of black, very high slits, a little bit sexy but it has a fully boned internal bustier, very comfortable, and yet nice little bit of pizzazz for your after work galas. What about the other options that you have in your collection? I like to stick to floor length pieces, but always try to bring in a little bit more artistic personality in each piece. So some of the dresses in my collection are one shoulder or strapless to be a little bit more sexy, to show off a little bit more skin. I'm very inspired by art and also inspired by collaboration. My pieces are always focused on a certain individual most of the time so working uh, the artist that I worked with was Jack Wass and he's a local painter and so his paintings are actually grayscale oil paintings which I converted into prints for my collection I'd love to work with jewelry designers on appliques I'd love to work with a sculptor on the silhouette of a dress and I wish you all the best for your future and thank you so much for showing us these beautiful pieces but stay with me because with the next designer we are completely changing topic he will show us how to reinvent the office wear with colorful and statement pieces that will take us out from the comfort zone. This is Alex S.U. I design between the reality and fantasy, so I put a lot of fantasy into my clothing, but also the clothing are very wearable, so that's the reality part. So the line between reality and fantasy is the biggest philosophy behind my brand. Alice SU Women is someone who likes to have fun and who likes color and who values comfort more than anything. My latest collection was inspired by my childhood growing up. So um, I'm Taiwanese, but I grew up in Vancouver. So it's a kind of like the balance between the two different cultures. I create a lot of my own print as well and I mix a lot of different textures into one garment. So I think that is the most unique point about my brand. Today we are chatting together about how to revamp our work wardrobe, wearing this gorgeous A-line skirt and this shirt on the top. But Alex, tell me more about this fantastic and gorgeous skirt, about the details and the fabrics. This skirt is from my Spring Summer 17 collection, which is fresh off the runway. So it's, uh, it has a lot of my aesthetics in it, which is I mix a lot of different textures in it. So you can see the top is a glitter printed velvet. And then the bottom part, the pinstripe, is a fabric for traditionally used for men's shooting lining. Apart from this shirt, which makes the outfit more traditional, how would you pair this skirt 
for a more casual, friendly office type of environment. We compare with like a jumper, so which I have one in my collection, which is a hybrid jumper. So okay. it's a jumper with a uh, lot of fun ruffles in a pop of color with shirting sleeve. What are the other options for women to make their work wardrobe more experimental? There is a yellow look, so it's like a yellow skirt with some ruffles on the bottom, and the top is a very loose and voluminous, like a t-shirt inspired uh, top as well. So that would be a, another option for a more casual look. One thing that you should absolutely bring is confidence. Wear something every day that makes you feel the best version of yourself. And just remember to make it your own. This is it for this episode of Style It with Arinda. If you are a local fashion designer who wants to showcase your collection on Show TV, just email me at erindachuteza at gmail.com or you are welcome to always Twitter, Instagram or Facebook me. And thank you so much for watching me today. I will see you next time with other local fashion designers.